This morning, a partnership bringing two worlds together. One part is the Ghetto Film School. GFS started more than 20 years ago as a program that gave kids from a predominantly minority community in New York the power to tell their stories. Now GFS has a global presence with offices in Los Angeles and London. And for the last two years has teamed up with another group with a history of being mistreated, the Jewish community. We met a few of them in the South Bronx. First word that comes to mind when you think GFS. Opportunity. New. Community. Caring. Collaboration. I would say storytelling. It's not every day you find a group of students from the Bronx working alongside kids from a Manhattan Jewish day school. The timeline is where we build out our projects. But a two-year-old partnership between the Ghetto Film School and the Ramaz School aims to curb racism and anti-Semitism with an art alliance. Projects from kids like Lila Elman and David Rubin. So you're working on a story where the two main suspects in a murder, one is a black man and the other mm -hmm. is a Jewish man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's loaded. Yes, it's very loaded. What we did was that we invited our history teacher, a black woman, and we had them cook two different dishes together, one black and one Jewish inspired by their cultures. And then we had them mix them together to sort of create the synergy between the two. We should be the ones to tell our stories. The Ghetto Film School, a two and a half year free program funded by wealthy donors and championed by celebrities, was formed back in 2000 by Joe Hall. The Ghetto Film School, the name, I mean, I think it, it clearly is, is ironic up front. And, um, uh, but over the years, it's, it, you know, the reputation, the quality of the programs, and certainly what the students have gone on to, to do in their own lives, um, it, it's all part of the name. We put it in the name for a reason, to redefine the stories about us, written by people who aren't us. Hall had some pretty clear ideas about how he wanted to do things differently when it came to nonprofits and education. We never call them at risk, disadvantaged, none of the stuff that most people use, uh, particularly when you're talking about young people of color. No labels for the kids. No, and this is sometimes funders have a hard thing with this because, you know, they have boxes to check off and we say, well, we don't really keep yes. that information. Yeah. Our curriculum is based on graduate level film school. In 2021, Montea Robinson became CEO of GFS. The work, the assignments, the classroom instruction is industry standard. The content, what they're looking to make is guided by that. And there's a real emphasis on um, critical discussion, both peer to peer and then from student to instructor. Action. All students who work with GFS are immersed in every facet of cinematic storytelling and production. Got the program culminates with a short thesis project, filmed in a different foreign location every year with real actors and professional level equipment. For our thesis project, we travel to the Dominican Republic and we make a short film about, essentially about the culture and inspired by the Dominican culture. I'm curious about, you know, how can we improve the pacing of the film now? Kayla Mora just completed the final step before shooting, a table read, complete with experienced writers, directors, actors, and business leaders who offer invaluable feedback. Just seeing objects does so much, and I think you don't want to hold the audience's hand. Jared Ray went to Shanghai for his thesis in 2011 and now works in the film industry. That was an amazing experience, definitely one that, you know, opened my world, being from the Bronx, being forced to write a story where I'm not from and trying to adapt to that kind of storytelling. It was definitely challenging, but it was super humbling and rewarding to be able to tell that kind of story. <laughs> Matthew Hiltzig is the GFS board member who first came up with the idea to partner with Ramaz. As much as we focus on the education of our kids, it's incomplete if we're not getting them out of their comfort zone and their bubble for them to appreciate that this country is about us. It's not just about the Jewish community. It's about all the other folks who live around us. For those of you in Ramaz or graduates, how much time had you spent in the South Bronx before this? I don't, I don't really know. I feel like no, not so much. Queens kid. Yeah. 
I don't think at all. I went to the Bronx Zoo a few times, but that's it. Same here. Probably went to the Bronx Zoo when I was younger, but yeah. Everybody's talked about community, and that's one thing that sort of has resonated for me. You, you're a student, but then like you, you stay involved in the program. Yeah. So many people do for, for decades, yes. Right. Yes. right? Yeah, and being able to teach these wonderful students here from Ramaz has been um, really amazing because you're able to sort of yeah, there's a level of give back, but there's also a level of um, learning from your students as well. Keisha Ramel, both an instructor at Ramaz and a GFS graduate, knows one of the best weapons against ignorance is opportunity. Opportunity's door wasn't big enough for all of us. Really, the whole point of ghetto film school. So we made a new one. From the start. I don't buy into this coddling culture thing of like, you know, everyone has to be sort of treated with kit gloves. And the success of Ghetto Film School has always been high expectations. Rigor, uh, not everyone's a winner, but you're here to do your thing and be your creative self. And uh, you're given the opportunity to do that um, and the resources. Uh, but in the end, it's, it's going to be your commitment of where you take that. They really pride themselves on that critical discussion, and that is if you're looking at a film that stinks, they say it stinks. Right. And you can maybe take another shot at it, but as they say, they give people the opportunity. What you do with that opportunity is what you do with it. That's, but that's half the battle, because if you're not yeah. given that opportunity, yeah. you don't know what you can do. And it's a huge opportunity, bringing students from different neighborhoods together and then going abroad and learning about that culture. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the best education.